Tuscaloosa. Check this out. We are sitting at 73 degrees. That is uh, very warm for February, about uh, 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. A lot of sunshine out there. Very nice day. And those warm temperatures continue all across the area, sitting at 70 in Anniston right now, as well as in Birmingham, upper 60s and other spots towards uh, Coleman and Gadsden. Uh, whenever it's this warm, this time of year, it's usually a safe bet that thunderstorms are on the way. And no surprises here, some storms in progress down in South Mississippi and along the Gulf Coast. Not too far to the north, though, we are watching a pretty dangerous weather situation unfolding. This is an ice storm warning that's in effect for eastern Arkansas, western Tennessee, up into Kentucky, where that moisture mixes with that cold air. There's going to be widespread uh, freezing rain that could cause some major travel issues. Here's what the freezing rain accumulation looks like. They could be looking at as much as a quarter of an inch to half an inch of ice developing on the roadways. Uh, thankfully, that stays to the north of us tonight. It's not going to be quite cold enough this far south for any ice storms, but we are expecting thunderstorms. That'll uh, start with showers tonight and then progress into thunderstorms uh, by tomorrow morning. So here's what it looks like hour by hour. Starting to notice some of those downpours crossing the state line late tonight by around 10 p.m. Then after midnight, we're expecting our first wave of storms to start rolling in. Really at around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning is when we'll start to notice these heavy downpours. Occasional cloud to ground lightning, maybe some gusty winds, but not expecting any anything severe because uh, we just won't have quite enough instability in the atmosphere and those storms will be what's called elevated and not surface based. Bit of a break in the rain late in the morning, then another wave of storms comes in uh, early in the afternoon, drying out heading into tomorrow night and into Friday morning, but the rain just comes right back. Another wave of rain expected into Friday afternoon. So even though it won't be severe, we're still going to get a good wash of rainfall, potentially now looking at around one to two and a half inches of rain possible with those high amounts occurring down to the south towards Chilton and Coosa counties. Your full seven-day forecast, cold and rainy for the weekend, especially Saturday, maybe drying out Sunday, and watching for the chance of a wintry mix possible on Monday. As of right now, that chance is at 40%, so not a done deal yet, but we'll be watching it as the forecast continues over the next couple of days.